Yeah, I know what y'all are thinking in the vortex. I need to wash my clothes. I'm gonna. Eventually. Not well, tonight. You should do it tonight. I'll do it tonight. Gotta take all my notebooks. <laughs> this is my life, you guys. Welcome to it. I got some black coffee. I got some live probiotics. They're gonna taste like shit. Got my cliff bar. Got my toothpicks. I'm trying to quit smoking again, if you, if you didn't know. I did quit smoking yesterday. I know, maybe it was the day before. I don't know anymore. Like, all the days morph together. Especially when you smoke, the days morph together. Like, holy shit. <laughs> like, I think I started smoking... Let's see here. Look at all these cigarettes. I, I think that's, that's been like two weeks. That's how much I've smoked in two weeks, you guys. I think it's been longer than two weeks. Maybe like three weeks. Whew. Yeah, about three weeks. <laughs> but yeah, look out of the gun. Look at that sunset. All those fucking cigarettes, man. <laughs> I like, I just, I just sat here on my couch, played keys, and fucking, uh, paint smoked. That's all I did. <laughs> I wrote too. Like with any addiction, it always starts out productive and then ends up me wasting even more time. Like, I tell myself, oh, I'm going to do so much because of this. But I kind of sort of think that I did all that so that it would make me, like, have to start over again. I'm like totally addicted to that shit, you know? Just the idea of starting over. Oh shit, Amy, you need money. I'll be right back. I'm always like so afraid every time that I leave my car on that it's just gonna like start rolling. <laughs> Especially here. Because I just see that every single time that I, I forget something and I have to like run back upstairs. I'm just like terrified that like my car is just like rolling from out the driveway <laughs> by itself. <laughs> <sighs> See, like, I don't need, like, a cigarette. Like, when I crave it the most, it's, like, at work. Because it's just this idea that I have that I'm gonna, gonna, like, leave work and just, like, smoke. And it'll be, like, that release. But then, like, I'll just keep doing it. And I won't be able to stop myself. Yeah, if you just smoked, like after work only or like after a comedy set or something like if, if it was just like less uh habitual right I mean, my habit was like less severe i guess but it, it does feel like a very severe habit like i just sit at home and uh smoke like that's that's all I fucking do and like my ashtray's overflowing and like I, I do write a lot 
But you can't use that as an excuse, though, because it's not like you're going to stop writing. I mean, you wrote a shit ton, you know, without nicotine, and you always have, you know? You didn't start smoking until you were 20. Yeah. So I tell myself that my, my writing is going to be better because I smoke cigarettes. Ooh, isn't that funny? I think it's really funny. Yeah, but that's why I had to go grab the 20 bucks because, uh, like, I had nothing to do last night. You know, so I just, like, went to the gas station. No, it was the night before. Because you're like, I'm going to quit smoking. And then you ended up just buying another pack. Like, you went all day, and then you got off work, and you're like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta find something else that gives you that relief. Yeah, I don't know what it would be. You can play keys, baby. Just play keys. Okay. I really like this keyboard more than the other one. This one's a lot smaller. It's actually heavier than the other keyboard, which is weird. Because that keyboard is like really huge. Um, and it's really like awkward um, because it's so big. But it's super light and super loud. This one's heavier, but it's not as loud. I like, I, I just love this keyboard so much. I came up with some last night, it was really fucking good. Uh, wait till the light. Okay, yeah, we're about to get a red light, y'all. And that person just ran a red light, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Here we go. I just kept changing this chord. Like, y'all aren't gonna be able to hear it very well. So maybe if I have a break tonight, I can play for y'all in a way where you can receive it. <laughs> Love that armrest. Anyway, uh... <laughs> oh my god. There's this guy wearing boots, and I can't figure out why he's wearing boots. He works at the farmer's co-op. So maybe that's why he wears boots. <laughs> There's all kinds of shit that you don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Lots of shit. Okay, so I need to start drinking these probiotics. See, I told myself that there was, like, a reason why. I still have this drink. Was I supposed to shake it? I don't know, man. There's nothing you can do now. It's gonna taste like shit no matter what. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. This is healthy, this is healthy, this is healthy, this is healthy. Like, I'll say shit to myself, like, you know, you're not gonna die now. All because of the live probiotic. Kombucha, that shit tastes a lot better than this. Mm. It's just kombucha's got fucking alcohol in it. I just don't like to fuck with alcohol. Like, I'll, I'll drink it if I can barely taste it, but I, if I feel like it, it tastes too much like fucking beer, because it does. It, it tastes like beer, it smells like beer, and it just. So kombucha is like the only thing that is acceptable for you to drink in the realm of alcohol. That's good though. Kombucha is good for you. It's like, uh, makes sense. Dude, I'm really stoned by the way, in case y'all are wondering why I'm so fucking happy right now. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's what I did 
that keep in mind when you quit smoking cigarettes before dude you you never thought about this this makes a lot of difference here when you quit smoking cigarettes before you were hitting that gravity barn like no other <laughs> no i was dude i worked at this little like asian slop diner it's like uh it's a chain it's like a corporate chain and it might be a franchise i don't fucking know they're they're like americanized asian food um shout out to payway <laughs> we all call it peewee we all thought we were so clever i guess but yeah i miss a lot of people there that i used to work there with like i mean some of them are still there most of them are gone uh but uh yeah so what was I saying? You quit smoking. I quit smoking cigarettes because I was like always hitting this, this gravity barn. I just had this water bottle. And uh, a cup. This is very popular, by the way. Uh, if cops really wanted to like take down all the fucking druggies, um, they should just hang around at fucking Taco Bell or like. McDonald's or fucking Wendy's. That's where all the stoners like to hang out. It's like the only shit that they can afford. So they're like, can I get the fork for? <laughs> uh, with the uh, barbecue sauce, uh, and the junior bacon cheeseburger. Junior bacon cheeseburger is pretty good, y'all. I would suggest the junior bacon cheeseburger over like any of the more expensive sandwiches. I'm like, dude, if you want like real meat, you should go to like, I don't know, like an actual burger joint. See, I, I feel like fast food is like meant for that, like the dollar menu kind of shit. You know, like why would you pay like five or six bucks for a burger from like Wendy's, you know, just because it's slightly bigger. It's still the same meat, motherfucker. <laughs> like it's not real. I mean, I know it's real, but what is real? <laughs> like, Dave Thomas never cut corners, y'all. Like, seriously, the burgers are in the shape of squares. <laughs> Just to prove his point. <laughs> Oh my god, you better get the fuck out of that turn lane, bitch. That's my spot. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Dude, everybody's in, like, the wrong lane. This is just, like, driving all crazy. They don't give a fuck. It's you now. It's you. You better go. You better go. Don't let that motherfucker ahead of you. Go. All right, good. They made it. <laughs> Sometimes it's intense on the road, y'all. <laughs> really intense. I just heard myself like slurp. That's the reason for smoking right there. It makes you do, it makes you spit. I mean, I'm one of the few ladies that spits. <laughs> I don't even fucking dip. I think that's disgusting. Dipping's just totally nasty. I tried doing it because, you know, you get a fucking buzz off that shit, apparently. Like a major buzz. Yeah, but the thing is with you, I think the reason you just like smoking so much is because, of, you know, the oral fixation, the, you know, the gesture, just like the gesture, um, the hand to mouth motion, you know, <laughs> I could just give somebody a hojo, you know what that is? It's like a hand job slash blow job. I don't know why I call it that. It's just a thing. Uh, it's like where I... I, I suck you off and I play with your dick at the same time. Cause let's face it, like I know that I'm not gonna be anywhere near as good as you, you know, when it comes to playing with your dick. Cause like you know your dick. I hope that you know your dick. Um, just like I'm sure you're not gonna be like really good at like playing with my the JJ, you know, cause you don't have one. Um. But it's like you know what you like, you, you know what you're into or whatever. Um, 
but yeah, I like to just, I like to play with it. I like to suck on it and blow on it and kiss on it and shit. I'm a lovey dovey. <laughs> Especially when it comes to your dick. <laughs> anyway, I feel like everybody's staring at me. That may or may not be true. I always hope that that's like Miss Tina's car, but it usually isn't. No, she has a black SUV, but it's. I don't think it's that white. <laughs> I'm talking about this this big black bitch that I work with. Her name's Miss Tina. She's awesome. I think I'm supposed to go now. I think I'm supposed to go inside and work my job. Just pick it up, see what happens. It's probably gonna be like, I don't think I'm supposed to shake this up. I think it would probably say shake this up if that's what I was supposed to do with it, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, you're probably right about that. Okay. It's lemon ginger. But supposedly ginger's like good for your throat. That's why I bought it. That's really the only reason I bought it. Which is, it was stupid because when I bought it, I was still smoking. So I was like trying to quit. So I was like, I'll just buy a live probiotic drink and I'll just suddenly be motivated to take better care of myself. But, you know, I kept smoking anyway. Uh, I'm so glad I have this hat. I'll just be honest with you guys. The real reason that I like this hat so much isn't just because I like hats more than I like visors, but it's so I don't have to take a shower. Because <laughs> then, like, you know, I mean, you can tell that my hair looks like shit, but it doesn't look as bad as when I wear the visor. <laughs> Jesus, where's my fucking patchouli oil? Because that's what I need more than anything. No, I really don't smell bad, though. I feel like, like, I tell everybody to tell me if I smell bad. I believe I've discussed this before. I do miss smoking, though, just because it's something to do, you know? It's like, like I need any help or stuff to do. Yeah, I feel like you've definitely regressed. But yeah, like, you were smoking a lot of pot. You know, like, anytime you wanted a cigarette, you just sm like, you just kept smoking pot, you know? Yeah, yeah, that was bad. That's why, I, and I quit smoking altogether. Like, eventually. I just, like, stopped smoking everything. It was crazy. Yeah. I mean, I would say just smoke some pot, but I don't think that's the solution either. I think that this time it's going to be harder, not only because you've started back up again, but... Because, you know, you don't have, I mean, you can always just eat another cookie, though. <laughs> yeah, but it's not the same, like, fix. Well, let's figure it out. This will just be an experiment, okay? Okay.